everyone, Adrienne here. So today I'm outside in my front yard and it's a lovely day out and I thought it would be a pretty good setting to talk about one of my favorite literary figures of all time, Edgar Allan Poe. Love Edgar Allan Poe. I'm all about Poe. All about Poe. And so specifically today what I wanted to do was address a lot of the myths and misconceptions about him and put them to rest once and for all because Damn it, I'm tired of hearing about him. <laughs> Let's just say that. And you know what? I get it. Poe is one of the most misunderstood figures in history and in literature of all time. So naturally, there are going to be a lot of misconceptions about him. And it doesn't really help that someone who hated his guts to death so badly wrote a scathing, like, really horrible obituary about him after he died after Poe could not stand up and stand up for himself. By the way, I am wearing an Edgar Allan Poe dress by Vera's Eye Candy. Fantastic. Yeah. I just had to get my paws on it. Had to. Had to. So without further ado, I am going to get into the common misconceptions and myths about Edgar Allan Poe. Misconception number one. Edgar Allan Poe was only a poet. It really gets on my nerves whenever I see anyone online be like, oh my god, like Edgar Allan Poe is like my favorite poet ever. Like that's all he ever did. Because that's not all he ever did. Um, if you look at a volume of his complete works, you will find, even just by looking at the table of contents, that his short stories far outweigh the work that he did in poetry. Like, look how many there are. There are so many, my goodness. So, that myth is busted. Misconception number two, Edgar Allan Poe was all about the horror stories, all about the macabre, all about the spooky, scary stuff. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but no, he was not all about the scary stories that he is most well known for. He wrote the first detective story, which I wouldn't necessarily consider to be a horror story. And he even wrote some science fiction, and believe it or not, he actually wrote comedies. Fun fact, Poe was really big on puns. He loved coming up with puns. So, gives, gives you a little bit of background into his sense of humor. He did have a really joyous sense of humor and joyous personality. Another misconception about Edgar Allan Poe is that he was a drunk and or a druggie. So, this one really gets my go sometimes. I'm sorry, but it does. What's sad about this myth is that it helped Poe become famous, and it kinda sucks. I really just... <sighs> don't even want to get into that, but anyway. Many of Poe's friends did stand up for him and say that he was sober most of the time. However, his enemies would say that he was drunk as a skunk. And also, with how hard he was working to write, he couldn't afford to be intoxicated on drugs or alcohol while he was writing. Like a lot of people think when they read his work, oh my god, he must have been drunk or high when he wrote this. Who the hell would write something like this? Oh my god. Like, why? And I did touch on this on my video about absinthe misconceptions, but... I'm going to touch on it once more. Edgar Allan Poe was not an absinthe drinker. He certainly was not. Now, around the time that it was coming to the United States, it wouldn't have been around long enough for him to develop a habit of drinking it, so... He's not an absinthe drinker, I'm sorry. Really hate to disappoint all you people who made up your Telltale Heart cocktails with uh, absinthe because you think that Edgar Allan Poe drank absinthe, but he didn't. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Myth number four. He was expelled from the University of Virginia. That is not true. He did not have enough financial support to continue going to school, so he only went for one year. There you go. He didn't get expelled. Okay? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Edgar Allan Poe was a college dropout. Another myth. That he was expelled from West Point for attending drill in the nude. That is not true. He was expelled for failing to attend his classes and drills and stuff like that. Failing to attend does not mean he showed up nude. Just saying. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Come on. So, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that video about the 
top misconceptions about Edgar Allan Poe that were really getting on my nerves. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel for more videos and subscribe if you like. And my links are down in the description below, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr even. So if you want to check me out on those sites, you are more than welcome to. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!